Besides this, O mighty armed Arjun, there is another superior energy of mind which comprises the living entities who are exploiting the resources of this material inferior nature. Here, is, here it is clearly mentioned that living entities belongs to the superior nature or energy of the Supreme Lord. The inferior energy is matter manifested in different elements, namely earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego. Both forms of material nature, namely gross, and like earth it is etc. and subtle mind are products of inferior energy. Living entities who are exploiting these inferior energies are different energies for different purposes are the superior energy of the Lord. And it is due to this energy that the entire material world functions. The cosmic manifestation has no power to act unless it is moved by the superior energy, the living entity. Energies are always controlled by energetic and therefore the living entities are always controlled by the Lord. 
they have no independent existence. That is very, very important, right? They have no independent existence. They are never equally powerful as unintelligent men think. The distinction between the living entities and the Lord is described in Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 10 for 10, 87 chapter, verse number 30. Um, that verse like is uh, very hard to, so I will just go by the translation only. O Supreme Eternal, if the embodied living entities were eternal and all pervading like you, then they would not be under your control. But if the living entities are accepted as minute energies of your Lordship, then they are at once subject to your supreme control. Therefore, real liberation entails surrender by the living entities to your control, and that surrender will make them happy. In that constitutional position only can they be controllers. Therefore, men with limited knowledge who advocate the monistic theory that God and the living entities are equal in all respects are actually guided by a faulty and polluted opinion. The Supreme Lord, Krishna, is the only controller and all living entities are controlled by Him. These living entities are His superior energy because the quality of their existence is one and the same with the Supreme, but they are never equal to the Lord in the quantity of power. While exploiting the gross and subtle inferior energy the matter, the superior energy, the living entity, forgets his real spiritual mind and intelligence. This forgetfulness is due to the influence of matter upon the living entity. But when the living entity becomes free from the influence of illusory material energy, he attains the stage called the mukti or liberation. The false ego, under the influence of material illusion, thinks, I am the matter. The material acquisitions are mine. This actual position is realized when he is liberated from all material ideas, including the consciousness conception of is becoming one in all respects with God. Therefore, one may conclude that the Gita confirms the living entity to be the only one of the multi-energies of Krishna and this, when this energy is free from material contamination, it becomes fully Krishna conscious or liberated. That ends our quote. So we do the Mangalachana. Om Gnan Timirandasya Gnan Jana Shalakaya Chakshur Nitam Yena Asma Shri Guru Venama Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadaki Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Utpadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavasya, Shri Rupam Sagra Jatam Sahagana, Sahagana Lakunatham Yam Tam Sajiva, Sadhvetam Savadhutam Parijana Saitam, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Deva, Shri Radha Krishna Padam, Sahagana Lakta Shri Vishakham Vitansya, Hey Krishna, Karuna, Sindhu, Deen, Bandhu, Jagat, Pate, Gopesha, Gopika, Kantra, Radha, Kantra, Namaste. Tapta, Kanchan, Gaurangi, Radhe, Vrinda, Vadeshwari, Rishabhanu, Sute, Devi, Pranamami, Hari, Priye. Vancha, Talpa, Tarubhyascha, Kripa, Sindhu, Vyemacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adulayat Shigaladhar Shivasadi Gaurabhattanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare Hare Namo Vishnubadai Krishna Krishna Hare Bhutale श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी तिहार नमस्ते सारस्वते देवी गौरवर्णी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष शून्यवादी सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग दट वॉट टाइटल टू बी गिवन दिस लोक सो आई केम आउट लाइक वॉट इज माई पॉजिशन फेमस हिंदी फिल्म मेरे हो क्या What is my Buddha? <laughs> what is my? Who am I? And what is my real business? So this chapter is a knowledge of the absolute. Like so, it describes about the Param Sakti, like the absolute, like Krishna. But only in this verse, it describes about us, the living entity. So I. Uh, in which other part like bhagavad gita anybody can know like uh, the jiva tatva is mentioned in bhagavad gita which other shlok 213 dehi usme mm hmm yeah the uh, bhagavad gita chapter 15 verse number 7 ma me vanso jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana मन सस्ता प्रकृति स्थानी So, like in the, in the first part, like if you read the purport, it explains like what this is. Verse is identity of the living being is clearly given. The living entity is a fragmental part and parcel of the supreme Lord eternally. As long as supreme Lord is existing, we are existing. It is not that the he assumes individually in his conditional life. and his liberated state becomes one with the supreme lord and in his liberated state he becomes one with the supreme lord he is eternally fragmented it is clearly said sanatana according to the vedic version the supreme lord manifests and expands himself in innumerable expansion of which the primary expansion are called vishnu tattva and the secondary expansion are called living entities In other words, Vishnu Tattva is a personal expansion, and living entities are separated ex expansions. By his personal expansion, he is manifested in various forms like Ram, Lord Narasimha Dev, Vishnu Murti, and all predominating predominating deities in the Vaikuntha Vi planets. The separated expanse in the living entities, the V, right, are eternally servitors. the personal expansion of the supreme personality of godhead the individual identity of the godhead are always present so similarly the separated expansion of living entities have their identities as a fragmented parts and parcel of supreme lord the living entities also have fragmental portion of his qualities of which independence is one every living entity as an individual soul has his personal individuality and a mind in the minute form of independence by misuse of that independence one becomes a conditioned soul and by proper use of independence is always liberated in either case he is qualitatively eternal and as the supreme lord is uh, as the supreme lord is in his liberated state he is free from his, this material condition 
and is under the engagement of transcendental service unto the Lord. In his conditional life, he is dominated by material modes of nature and he forgets the transcendental loving service of the Lord. As a result, he has to struggle very hard to maintain his existence in this material world. Who will disagree with that? As we all, because of the conditioned life, we all have to struggle very hard in, and to maintain in our existence in this material world. Who will disagree with that? Anybody has the material world, right? Dukha layam asasra. It's not a, the permanently we can stay over here and all miseries that right? we have to suffer. And we are the example, right? Because we are time immemorial. As we stated, eternal, we are eternal, but time immemorial, we are here in this material world. Very, very tough, right? A time immemorial, because now with Prabhupada's grace and all other devotees' association, hopefully we are in the right path. I mean, not hopefully, we are in the right path. And what this, uh, and the second verse in Chaitanya Charitamrita, who anybody knows, that that also explains our, our uh, constitutional position. Jivera Swarupa Hoy Krishnera Nitya Dasa, Krishnera Takasta Sakti Veda Veda Prakash, Sudhyamsa Kirana Yaiche Agni Jwala Chaya, Svabhavika Krishnera Tina Prakriti Sakti Haya. In this verse also, Prabhupada explains very nicely, I mean, I mean Krishna Raj Kaviraj Goswami, but the translation uh, is that it is, it is the living entity's constitutional position to be eternal servant of Krishna because he is the marginal energy of Krishna. And the manifestation and a manifestation simultaneously one with the different from the Lord. Like a molecular particle of sunshine or a fire, Krishna has a three varieties of energy. And this description is very, very good. It like, gives a nice understanding. If any question after that, it, uh, then we can interpret, but very, very nice uh, uh, explanation. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur explained these verses as follows. She Sanatan Goswami asked Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Who am I? And answered the Lord replied, You are a pure living entity. You are neither the gross material body, nor the subtle body, composed of mind and intelligence. Actually, you are a spirit soul, eternally part and parcel of Supreme Soul Krishna. Therefore, you are his eternal servant. You belong to Krishna's marginal potency. There are two worlds, the spiritual world and the material world. And you are situated within the material and spiritual potencies. You have a relationship with both the material and spiritual world. Therefore, you are called the marginal potency. You are related with Krishna as one and simultaneously different. Because you are spirit soul, you are one in quality with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but because you are a very minute particle of spirit soul, you are different from the Supreme Soul. So that called Achintya Veda Ved Theory. Therefore, your position is simultaneously one with the different from the Supreme Lord. The examples given are those of the sun itself and the small particles of sun sign, and of a blazing fire and the small particles of the fire. This explains us our position. So we go to the And then Bhagavad Gita in chapter 10, Lord, uh, verse number 8, Lord also, Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo Mata Sarva Pravartate Itvi Mantva Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samanvita. The Lord says, I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds 
everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly knows this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. So, we have to now take the decision, right? Like the, because as stated over here, Krishna has three main energy, like internal energy that we call yoga maya, and then maintains the spiritual world. The external energy, the maha maya, it creates, maintains, and annihilates the material world. And the marginal energy, like Tatastha Sakti, as a jivas, like we are jivas, so oh, we either can associate with the Lord's internal energy or external energy. That is our free choice, like free will, that minute independence that we have. Like we are his, uh, so we have the choice to associate either with his internal potency or his external potency. So we have to decide the, what uh, we want to do. Um, and then in uh, Bhagavad Gita 5.22, like if uh, what happened, like that says, like uh, if we uh, are inclined towards the material life. Yehi samspar saja bhoga dukho naya evate adyatta vanta kvanteya nate suramate buddha. An intelligent person does not take part in the sources of misery, which are due to contact with the material senses. O son of Kunti, such pleasures have beginning and end. And so the wise man does not delight in them. So there is a very nice uh, example of uh, the great sage who was in copying. You know what is copying? Copying means, right? Copying. Yeah, copying is a loin cloth. It covers only the pri private part. It, uh, in other words, is called uh, Langoti, right? In India, Langoti. Langoti Baba was there. He was very happy meditating. Only one cloth was there. Only one cloth. And he was very happy meditating uh, every day. Nice time was going very nicely. One day he was taking bath. So his friend saw that, like, uh, it was very difficult. Like, he took the bath. And then he has to wait until that cloth dries to cover himself. So he suggested, that, why don't you have a second cloth? What is the problem? Like that you can easily dry the first one and then you can take a bath. Uh, uh, I mean, dry one, then you can meditate with the dry one, right? Like easily. So he thought, he said, this is a great idea, right? Now why I have to wear the wet? So he said yes, and that friend was willingly donated one other another loin cloth, and so he has now two. So first one was lying over drain and drying, and he went to the meditation. And meditation was going very nicely. Then he heard the the sound, <laughs> and he saw the wow. I mean, meditation was broke, and he saw the one mice was trying to eat his cloth, right, like he's trying to, uh, so he pushed the mouse away and then started meditating again. And then after a while, he again, the ch -ch 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 sound came. And he thought, this is a tremendous problem, right, he uh, is not letting me meditate. So by, by luck, uh, his friend also came at the same time, so he look, you look very anxious. Why not I will be anxious? This mouse like is not letting me meditate, meditate really. So the friends say like in this material world, every problem has a solution. Don't worry. Like we will bring a cat. Like if you have a cat, it will keep the mouse away. So then uh, this man thought like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> So he donated the cat to him, and he kept the cat. So the cat, I mean now the, the good thing, the mouse was not coming. And then the meditation was going, 
But after a while he heard the meow, meow. <laughs> so he still start. I mean, but then care for jumping, scratching, meow, meow. They say, what is this? I mean, more problem than the mouse. Like this is a, they even now scratchy is, is, the cat is also now scratchy also. Right? So he um, went to his uh, friend, like a well-wisher, and he said, um, oh, you don't know, the cat gets hungry also. <laughs> so like you have to feed them milk. The mouse, mice is not coming that many, and then you have to feed the cat the milk. So you have to arrange for the cow. The cow will get the milk, the milk will feed the cat, and cat will keep the mouse away, and you will meditate very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so he thought like it's a good idea, right? Cow. So he brought the cow, I mean that when donated, that was well wisher, donated the cow. So he kept the cow, and the cow gave the milk milk was given to the cat, cat was satisfied and the mouse was not coming, very, very good, right? Everything was going very nicely. Then he heard the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so he, it was very, very hard for him to concentrate. Now he got very angry and he went to friend again. So that's it, like, don't I say, don't, I mean, didn't I say that every material problem has a solution. <laughs> this is not, a, I mean, uh, the cow also needs to be milked when they are really, really. And for that, he convinced like that, for that you need wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, wife will take care of the cow and the time, like he will graze and like, give the grass and, and the milking time it will milk. And then that milk you will give to cat. Cat will be a, a cat will keep mouse away, and you will meditate very nicely. <laughs> and the things will go very very good. <laughs> so this gentleman somehow convinced, and I mean uh, this sadhu and sage was somehow convinced, and he got the beautiful wife, very chaste, faithful, respectable, and giving very good respect to her husband and everything. So she will milk the cow, she will take care of the cow, she will give the milk to the cat, and the cat uh, will be keeping the mouse away. And a few days the meditation was going very right. This man was very happy. And one day he was in meditation, this wife comes, oh, you lazy fellow, you're just sitting down over here, you don't do anything. And I do everything like I graze the cow, I uh, feed the cow, and I um, take care of the cow, I feed the cat. And just sitting down, you are not ashamed of your in-laws. They all have very nice, very good, settled life. And uh, wow, what is you doing? I don't have any house, any jewelry to wear, anything to go anywhere, like just sitting over here in Bank of River doing nothing. What kind of man you are? We should do some job. So she convinced her, I mean she convinced him to do some job. So that gentleman started working, working like a, very hard, eh? working like this to keep nice house, to keep wives happy with the ornaments and all the facilities that needed. He was working like ass, like a very nice, I mean we all have a <laughs> So then one day he was just sitting down and he is thinking, what is this? I was on one cloth, <laughs> happily meditating. And what is my miserable life over here? <laughs> unfortunate, right? Very unfortunate. He, he thought like, and so he just ran to the river. He took that second loin cloth, tear apart and throw into the river. Then, and he left everything. This is very miserable life. So similar situation, right? Like the, we all in this material pool, time immemorial we are here. We are suffering, suffering, right? Just because identifying with this material nature is very, very hard, right? Like identify with material nature and material senses. But our spirit soul is pure, right? Spirit and like a, is a spiritual. But since coming in connection with this material, 
senses and material nature like entangle and thinking I and mine and because of that like this desire and that desire goes and goes and time immemorial like keeping us like bird all days this is death I was just reading one with, uh, and then there was nice verse but I don't know which Puran it was that the amount of birth that we took like if you collect all, I mean, all the birth, if you collect the bone together from earth to the sun planet, it will cover and it will be like just no sunlight will be coming. That many births we have taken. It's time in memory, right? Now, so with Prabhupada's grace and you will like we now know what is the right path and we are on that right path. So as we learn, right, how to how hard, like to associate with the material nature. But our like living uh, entities, inherent nature is happiness. We call as Lord is Satya Chita Ananda. We also Satya Chita Ananda. We like pleasure, right? Happy. Who doesn't like pleasure? Kids like we they don't know like the the marble and the, uh, chocolates and uh, happiness. Who doesn't like? The true happiness is realizing our nature as a servant of the Krishna. So um, we react to the situation and suffering with the different visa. Like the like we are devoted, that doesn't mean that we will not have that problem. Or like just just as a common man has a problem, same problem we are also facing. Like say, uh, for example, my Guru Maharaj, Kadam Kanan Swami, is suffering from a terminal illness and like still he is going like nicely with the, his yatra over there and like, I mean, we, we don't know, like as a doctor and he's telling everybody like he has only very few months left in his life, but still like his consciousness is transformed, like uh, he knows, like, uh, like this is temporary world, we have to live anyway. So he is, right now he's not willing to take any treatment even, right? Like so he, I mean, he, he doesn't have the, but, but with treatment he can still prolong his life a little bit, but he still doesn't want, he just want to look, live peacefully his material world. So he's like Prabhu was like true, uh, like soldier, right? Like similarly, we have many examples. Like all the devotees, they like, they're going through a very rough patch, but they take it a different way. They don't like just get depressed and sit down, the blame start blaming at somebody. They know like what is the the goal of the life, and um, similarly, like we also have problems, but we have we have to take it a different way. And this is like all the the material energy that we are using that we have to utilize in Krishna's service. Say for example, uh, this mic is material, but if you, it will be material only if you sing the mundane song like a Bollywood song or like gossiping like with the politics or some wrong promises and the like Kajriwal style, like you turn and all, then it is material. But if you do the Krishna Katha and like uh, Krishna Kirtan, then it will turn spiritual. So we have to, is like the key is to transform in our consciousness, like how we utilize our consciousness. So then Chaitanya Charitam with the Madhya Lila, this is nice. Sarvo Padi Vinir Muktam Tat Parat Vena Nin Malam Rushi Kesha Rushi Kesha Rushi Kena Rushi Kesha Seva Nam Bhakti Ruchade. Bhakti or devotional service means engaging all our senses in the service of the Lord. The great example of Maharaj Amrish, right? Uh, all the senses in the service of the Lord. Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Master of the All Senses. When the Spirit Soul renders service unto the Supreme, there are two side effects. One is freed from all material designation 
and the one's sense are purified simply by being employed in the service of the Lord. So this is very nice and thus uh, there are two good inspiration from the life of devotees. The King Parikshit Maharaj and Queen Devuti. I think we still have a good time so we can go through that. We recently reading these uh, two past times, right, from Srimad Bhagavatam and and I have to love God. So we know the Parikshit Maharaj is the grandson of Arjuna. Great, I mean grandson of the Arjuna and like his childhood time, like he was personally protected when his mother's womb was protected by Krishna. He had seen Krishna personally and he has a uh, he has, like, he has played with Krishna and seen Krishna personally. His Maharaj Parikshit um, was the emperor of the oh, oh, emperor of emperor, right? Like Chakravarti Raja. He has everything as is his possession. But when he was cursed by wrongly by Shungi, the son of Samik Rushi, he um, he was capable, like. Um, of uh, capable of reversing that uh, curse, but he took like willingly. He said, like the seven days of my life, and he utilized and he asked very good questions to the Sukhdev Goswami. And Sukhdev Goswami, who was a was son of Vyasadev, very great scholar, he heard uh, all the Mahabharata, I mean all, all the Bhagavad Bhagavatam from his. Uh, um, uh, father, Srila Vyasadi. So, the, um, he asked uh, that question is in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, he asked two times basically. Uh, one to the assembly, like all the Brahman assembly, and the second to the Sukadeva Goswami. So, that it goes like that. Tataschava pushche amim vipu, Tataschava pushche mimam vipuche, Vishabya vipraiti krutkitama, krutkitayam, Sarvat manami amane shakrutyam, Sodham chatatra musata biyukta. He said, O oh, trustworthy Brahmanas, I now ask you about my immediate duty. Please, after proper deliberation, tell me of the unalloyed duty of the everyone in all circumstances, and specifically of those who are just about to die. And then he asked the, the same question when Sukhdev Goswami came to that assembly. Ata pruchami sansindim yoginam paramam gurum guru sasheha yatkaryam niyamanasya sarvata So, so uh, same, you are the spiritual master of great saints and devotee. I am therefore begging you to show the way of perfection for all persons and especially for one who is about to die. So then Sukhdev Goswami is answering that in uh, Bhagavad, I mean Srimad Bhagavatam. Many verses, Tasmad Bharat Sarvatma Bhavani Shwaro Harim Sho Tavya Kirti Tavyascha Smartavyas Chesta Tavayam. This Sukhdev Goswami is telling, Oh, descendant of King Bharat, 
One who desires to be free from all miseries must hear about and glorify and also remember the personality of God. Who is the super soul, the controller and the savior from all miseries. Then the, the verse number 6 also goes Etavan Sankhya Yogya Vyam Sadharma Parinistaya Janma Labha Parapunsam Ante Narayana Smriti The highest perfection of human life achieved either by complete knowledge of matter and spirit by practice of mystic powers or by perfect discharge of occupational duty is to remember the personality of Godhead at the end of life. It's not going to be easy, right? At the end of the life. So we have to do throughout the life so if we remember at the end of the life. And the in goes like 11 was one also very nicely like the nice instructions like what what is our duty like what what is six Mara's nice question I, 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 in fact all chapter is very nice but the 11 one is very very good O King, constant chanting of holy name of the Lord after the ways of great authorities is the doubtless and fearless way of success for all, including the those who are free from all material desires. Those who are desirous of all material enjoyment and those who are self-satisfied by dint of transcendental knowledge. The similar ones like that. Akama Sarka, Akama Sarka, Kama Va, Moksha Kama. Vina Bhitti Yogena, Yajen And the Parikshit Maharaj was not ordinary, he was realized so. Like in, in, in the verse number 15 and 16, it describes about the Parikshit Maharaj, right? Like the, uh, like what, he, was, he was realized. He was saying that even if I die, then I should get the birth as a devotee. And he was not worried about uh, like even we all, I mean, for death, fear he, he didn't have, right? So he was a great soul and he's asking. Uh, and then uh, these are the, then uh, Mother Devuti, that, um, that question, like she asked her uh, son, like she, Mother Devuti is, like what a, she was a daughter of Shrayambhu Manu and uh, why was uh, uh, nice. So, so, uh, Shrayambhu Manu, she was daughter of Shrayambhu Manu and mother was Satrupa. Satrupa, right? Satrupa and Shrayambhu Manu and and uh, she was a wife of a Kandar Bhamuni. Kandar Bhamuni. Kandar Bhamuni. And uh, she was a mother of Kapil, the supreme personality of God. And she is uh, asking the question. Uh, that question is uh, in. I'm sorry. I have over there written. Be nice, sorry. So that is three twenty five seven. Twenty-five to seven on the top. Twenty-five to seven, right? How do I? No. Yeah. 
Zeichen. pretty soon uh, and this is very very nice what is our she she has a very nice wonderful question for the sun sun is a supreme personality of course deho ruti ruvacha nirvinam nitaram bhuman sandindriyanta shrana yena sambhavya manena Prabhu. As I said, she is a um, such a great soul, right? And such like she still feeling like a, Devuti said, I am very sick of uh, the disturbance caused by my by my material senses. For because of this sense disturbance, my Lord, I have fallen into the abyss of ignorance. And uh, that answer was already there in 25, so I have to, how do I go? 23, 24 and 25 is that answer. So yeah, this is the, it starts from here. Madha shraya katha mrushta sunvanti kathayanti cha tapanti vividha stapa mutam nan advat chetasa they engage constantly in chanting and hearing about me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The sadhus do not suffer from material misses because they are always filled with the thoughts of my pastimes. And then, 24. But 25 is the best. I mean, uh, 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 everything is best, but. Ta ete sadhava santhi sarva sangha vivarjita sanghas te te parthya Sangha dosa harahite. Oh, my mother, oh, virtuous lady, these are the qualities of great devotees who are free from all attachment. You must seek attachment to such holy man, for this counteracts the pernicious effect of material attachment. So this is from Supreme Personality of Godhead as a son to so his beloved mother. And this is the last very nice famous satam prasangan man satam prasangan virya samvido bhavanti hat karna rasayana katha tad joshanada svapavarga vatvani shraddharati bhakti danuramisha and the translation is very very Good, right? In the association of pure devotee, like that with the Prabhupada's grace, we are getting it, right? We have a very exalted and senior devotees and very nice association. Pure devotee, by the in the association of pure devotee, discussion of the pastimes and activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is very pleasing and satisfying to the ear and heart. By cultivating such knowledge, one gradually becomes advanced on the path of liberation and thereafter he is freed and his attraction becomes fixed. Then real devotion and devotional service begin. So this is beginning, right? Like association is beginning and then hopefully we will have a... I'm, I'm taking your leave right now. I'm sorry. I took a little long. Maybe it's okay. 840, 9740, right? So, so please, um, if you have any question, right? So these are the solutions already <laughs> given by Mother Devuki's son Kapil Dev. Parikshit Maharaj was, he was asking for us, right? Mother Devuti and Parikshit Maharaj both was asking for us. So, but even if you have still any question, Comment, 
Hare Krishna Prabhu, we learned a uh, very wonderful class and uh, you very well connected the verses with examples. Now, for my question, uh, I will go to uh, refer to Tulsi Das Ramcharitra Manas, like uh, when Hanuman was going to flying to Lanka in Sundarkand. Okay, so he met, first he met Lankini after meeting and then she turned into a devotee and he first he met Sursa, the mother of the serpents, then he met Lankini, which had, she also turned into a devotee and also there's one dude uh, of Raman who went to, to the other side of the river and then he also turned into a devotee, right? He, he transformed into a sage. Because he was cursed and after meeting the Vanasena, he was transferred into a sage. Now, hear about the devotee association, pure devotee. Now a devotee like Hanuman, right? After meeting, meeting them, they got transformed. Now the question is, how, obviously we are in Kaliuga, we are all trying, we are practicing, some uh, there are dif devotees at different level, right? Matya, Muttam, Kanishta, Nikai. How one should associate uh, to get such a mercy and with whom, like, what what qualities one should look for in a devotee to associate? Uh, obviously, we know there is uh, no one can be like as pure as Lord Hanuman because there is none other than Lord Shiva. So, how? Because in this material world we know, right, it's, it's so so strong, right? If we don't exit now, if we don't get good association now, in times to come, like, if this this is the 20th Kaliyuga, in times to come, it would be very difficult to exit. So how should we do or what should we do to get such kind of association? A very good question. So where to find the pure devotee? Right? Pure devotee. So there are like three Kanista, Madhyam and uh, Uttam devotee, right? So the sign for Uttam devotee is sees everybody like in everyone. The uh, Supreme Personal. Like he sees everybody equal and everyone in everyone he sees the Supreme Personality of God. And the other sign is is detached, detachment, right? Like he's not attached to the the material world, and he like will be following the gurus and sastra very very nicely. So, like if you see some like and with, with the Prabhupada's gaze, like we have a many many we are fortunate, right? Like to have. A, Many many devotees, um, and um, yeah, I mean basically, if an, anybody else has some other question, but we basically first we have to be very sincere in our sadhana and our uh, practice. Then Lord will make arrangement, definitely. Like seeing our eager eagerness, it will come to our path. Like, we don't have to worry. Like uh, as, as we advance in our sadhana and uh, bhakti, that arrangement will be already made by Lord. He will take care of that part. But still, like uh, externally, you to have to see how detached the person is, and like how he is following his guru, and how he quotes the scripture and uh, sastra. Like he talks about scripture and sastra, not like his concocted version of things. So that is I, my understanding. But if anybody else has something else. Any comment from us? Any senior? Is that okay Prabhu or? Maybe my 
मायापुर चंद्रपुर है मोहल्ला Sadhu Sangha, that is the only answer, right? Like we have to look for like-minded people, and we have to associate with them and each other. Like, um, like uh, hearing the Lord's pastime, doing kirtan, doing katha, and uh, dancing. Because that's the basically Krishna conscious movement is, right? Like the. So we have to. If not that, we have to create it. I mean, just going in the. Rundavan or just staying somewhere is not going to help unless we have to do the association of devotee. Anyway, if you don't find here and then you have a facility and then you can move somewhere where that you find the devotee. But association is very important and we just saw that, right? That will take away the material, like the things from us, like bhakti. We kill that part, and we will realize our spiritual nature. Ultimately, we'll achieve that. So, devotee is association and rendering service to the great devotee. That's very, very, very important thing. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. I have a question. <laughs> Sorry. That's no, no. Good. So uh, there are three things, right? Parashakti, Aparashakti, and Brahma, right? No, Jiva. 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 Tatasana. So then four. Then four things, right? No, three, three major. <coughs> three so this is, if you hold the universe, you can divide it into three, G, three energies and one energetic. So it's a total four. How do these energy works in Golo with now? Which one is some something does not have to work there? Then only we can be eternal place. Like right? so, which one doesn't work there? Like, the no material, car, car, time. energy doesn't work there. Material energy. Material energy doesn't work. And then like is a Krishna like um, so the the car thing doesn't come over there, right? The the sun uh, shining and the um, like sun uh, going down, moon coming like day and night. We are in material world. We are uh, like the because of we are uh, bound with the car, the, the years and car. Day and night goes and time passes. That is not bad. It's like it's always vartaman, always that vartaman. And uh, the Krishna is a sat. I mean, it's a. Like from at Prakash and everything is there. Like so, there is no night or no day. Always present. Para Shakti. Para is a inferior energy. Para is like spiritual energy of the Lord. First verse of Shri Bhagavatam explains that. Right? First verse of Shri Bhagavatam, one one one. That um, we use then. Chanmat. Yeah. The first verse of Shri Bhagavatam will explain that. Janma Desiya Kondaya Itaratash Chateshwa Vigya Swarat Tene Brahma Ridaya Adikave Mahyan Piyatsuya Tejo Vare Nilamitha Mahyan Visar Gormusha Dhamna Svena Sada Nirastha Puhakam Satyam Param Dhima. So 
Miras the Kuhakam means that that first verse, if you can pull out the translation, um, that explains that the material or this Maya Shakti is not present there. Um, the, the spiritual world is completely spiritual potency. Dhamna Sveda Sada Nirasta Kuhakam Satyam Param Dhimahi. Last line. So, oh my Lord. So, I therefore meditated upon Him, Lord Krishna, who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode, which is forever free from the illusory representations of the material world. I meditate upon Him, for He is the Absolute Truth. Okay.